Are you one of those people where the first thing you do when you wake up in the morning is you check your phone? But is it also the last thing you do at night before you go to sleep? Have you ever considered the possibility that maybe, just maybe, you're slightly addicted to your technology? Well, uh, both Apple and Google's Android are unveiling a whole bunch of tools in their next iteration to let you quantify and to a degree control how much time you spend on the internet, what sort of apps, what sort of activities. But the question is why? And more importantly, why now? In the studio, we have ABC presenter Nick Healy. He's also a writer and a nerd and a very well-dressed man. And we have Claire Riley, who's also very well-dressed and a senior editor at the technology website CNET. So to that question, why are these massive tech companies suddenly at the same time investing so much energy into letting us control our internet usage? I think they have to care because people are starting to really turn on tech. Anecdotally speaking, in the past year or so, there has been this pushback against Silicon Valley tech giants and we're really seeing a turn. I think the really big part of that was Cambridge Analytica and recognising how much of our lives on Facebook was really just open for all to see. Mm. And people sort of saying, oh, I do spend a lot of time on there and it feels like it's not the closed room I thought it was. It feels like the back veranda door is this uh, crappy screen door that's left wide open to the world. And I feel like things like Uber, you know, Uber had its terrible year last year and we sort of said, a tech giant saving everything in the way that we thought they were. And I think one of the really big sort of representations of this is phone addiction and how much we're using social media, how much we're using our phones. And a lot of regular people are actually kind of realising... I am super addicted to this. Yeah. I tell myself that I'm not going to check it before I go to bed, but I check it three times or I say I'm not interested in that notification, but as soon as that little red dot pops up, I am on there quicker than you can say, you know, boo. People are recognising that it's affecting their work, it's affecting their social lives, it's affecting their sleep. And I think tech companies are saying that they have to respond because if not, the tide could turn even more and they might find themselves up against a really sort of losing battle. Apple and Google have remained relatively clean in the Cambridge Analytica, the Uber and Do you reckon that's just them getting out ahead of the curve? That's why they're doing it, because they're the clean, nice guys in this tech debate. So they're the ones that can say, if by getting in front of it, they're mm. saying, we're helping you out. You know, we're Apple. We've got your best interests at heart. We're not the evil Facebooks or Twitters yeah. of this world. We've got your best interests and we will make you pay for each and every one of those Absolutely. Interests. And, you know, we are the ones that controlling those nasty apps on your phone. So we don't actually create the content. We're just the platform for you to consume it. So trust us to help you live your best wellness life. There is a lot of we're being very socially responsible, aren't we? Watch us being very socially responsible. Mm. It's very much supermarkets banning plastic bags oh, in a yeah. bit of a way. I think I agree with Claire. They are trying to get across ahead of the curve on this to a large degree. I mean, the tools they're offering are very similar to tools that have been available by third mm. parties for quite a while. What they're just trying to do is bake it in. So both uh, the new operating systems uh, for Google Android and for Apple offer a whole bunch of native tools for tracking how long you spend staring at screens. Walk me through um, the different ways, Nick Healy, in which you can become mindful of yeah. your internet usage or your phone technology usage. So, I mean, Apple offers a bit of a, a very Apple thing in that it's not very customizable what you can do with it, but there's a lot Classic of data Apple. there. Yeah. So they let you know, not only sort of, how often you're opening apps, how long you're staying on apps. They'll even let you know how often you're picking up your phone mm. even just to have a look at it. That's um, a figure no one wants to see. No one wants to know <laughs> that at all. In addition to that raw data that you can go and pass yourself, you can then set time limits on apps how where you'll get that? a drop-down warning after you've used it for more than two hours, 30 minutes, five minutes, whatever you want. But it's also very easily dismissed. Well, speaking about the Android version of this, is there anything that seems quite distinctively different about what the Android operating system is rolling Not out? Not quite that I can see. There's probably a bit less data, as I understand it, than what iOS are giving you. Their um, uh, time limits on the app seems a bit more efficient. It's actually mm. quite hard to dismiss them. Okay, right. Whereas you can dismiss the iOS so ones what are we quite talking easily. about, like a full screen? It's a full screen blackdown. You say you've reached your time limit. <laughs> Shut and down. On iOS, I understand there's just a let me keep watching more button. <laughs> done. Um, it's like, it's like, it's like the snooze button. Yeah, it's the snooze, really snooze button. Snooze, snooze, yeah. snooze. Uh, whereas on um, uh, Android, you'll need to go into some settings and actually change them. I think also um, I'm interested in Android's idea of uh, turning off blue light at night. So that's a kind of a, it's called the wind down feature. And we all know that blue light is, um, you know, it disrupts your circadian rhythms because the idea is that when you wake up in the morning, you go outside and see the blue sky, it naturally wakes you up. But our phones are kind of 
spewing out this blue light that then keeps us awake at night time. So it kind of switches into this sort of more sepia tone. Yeah, and actually colour is an interesting one, right? We have a mutual friend that has actually went through a period of turning her phone onto grayscale. Mm. And I'm still trying to wrap my head around how that, theoretically helps control your relationship with so much it my phone was so boring I can't emphasize this enough um so I did it for I think uh two weeks Mm. you know scrolling through Instagram Instagram in black and white is a little bit arty for a while and then it's just much less interesting you lose a lot of detail how do you know you're putting the right filters on the photo if the phone's in great I didn't know it was funny. It was a really weird experience. It's not something I'd do forever, but gosh, it was so valuable for recognising my addictions. So while we're talking about the idea of this might be able to relate back to early days of fitness trackers, mm. let's flip that again, where we found people who became obsessed with quantifying their life, that it actually became a problem how much data they were tracking. <laughs> so what's to say that in the drive to stop using apps and the internet as much as you are on your phone, you become obsessed with checking how little you're using your apps and your internet Look on at your how phone. little I'm using it. I'm amazing. Oh, my gosh, I've really shaved it down. Look at this timeline. Yeah. Stop it. It's like when people announce on Facebook that they're leaving Facebook. Love yeah. It. So I love it. So I get much. it. You know, like, you, you're better than us. It's yeah. fine. <laughs> but look at us all just swimming around in this slurry pool of each other's germs. We're happy here. Yeah. <laughs> all right. There is lots more of this in the podcast of Download This Show. We are also talking about drones this week. Uh, good things drones do, bad things drones do, the wonderful world of drones. That's in the podcast edition of Download This Show. If you've got an idea for something you would like us to cover, head along to the ABC News YouTube channel because that is where we look to find ideas. So you can leave a comment. And with that, I shall leave you. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.